Hey, how's it going guys? So the past two days has been really unconventional on the things I've been finding, but they've been gaming related nevertheless. Yes, I did get more magazines, for goodness sakes. That place that I got the other ones for 25 cents. Yep, went back there. There was more magazines. Sonic Adventure for the Sega Dreamcast strategy guide. That's pretty cool. And I got more of these Game Pros. I got two of those Donkey Kong ones. I didn't even realize that. And a Mario Kart 64 strategy guide. And this Game Informer issue 200, which was pretty cool. It uh, They did a thing in here highlighting their favorite 200 games of all time so yeah more magazines kind of weird never had so many magazines in my life let's move on yesterday i went to my local music slash record store and they have they also have a section with used movies and games and they have this timeless adventure of mickey mouse for only three dollars I have to get off that uh, that ink there with some with a magic eraser or something. But yeah, three dollars. I think I have all the Mickey Mouse games now for the SNES. And today at the swap meet, I got this Zelda Majora's Mask Gold. Can't really see it too well with the lighting, but I paid seven dollars for this. I wasn't getting the lady down more. It's one I already had. I mean, it's one I didn't have, so I was looking forward to getting that one. And then today at the swamp meet, I got this Mega Man 3. One of the last ones I don't have. I have one, two, three now, because I got this one, four, and six, so I'm missing five. I paid six dollars for Mega Man 3 here at the swamp meet. And then I hit a few yard cells. And I got, I didn't find much of the yard cells, but I got Street Fighter Anniversary Collection for the PS2 and 18 Wheeler for the PS2. Paid $2 each on those. Pretty cool. And then I went to this other swap meet and I got a few things. I got this N64 memory card. It's uh, just. A memory card in there just like the picture and this is just a case for it you can put another two memory cards in there paid two bucks for this pretty cool another thing I got at that same swap meet really weird uh, I got a Tomb Raider like display thing here she's like on barrels with wood and some bust up background that says Tomb Raider in the background but yeah I paid for this one, she's got her guns with the holster, I mean the holsters of the gun, the pistols in them. And then I got this other one, which is kind of dorky looking. I didn't really care too much about this one. It's, it's a lot smaller, as you can see. But, uh, yeah, it's another display of Laura Croft. I paid a little more than I wanted to, but I don't know. It's, it's kind of cool. I paid 12 bucks for both of these because she was, like, you know, on the whole, oh, it's collector thing, so she really wasn't going cheaper. And, and another yard sale. I was digging through a bin and I got a Atari built-in game thing controller that uh, you put four double A's or whatever in there. And you can plug this into the TV. It's got games built into it. Pretty cool. I paid one dollar for it. One dollar. Gonna try that out. And then here where I live, we have this really weird warehouse that gets a bunch of like overstock things or like broken or dented boxes, stuff like that. And they uh, they take them to this warehouse. They have everything. They have tools. They have skateboard parts. They have furniture. They have electronics. Everything you can think of. If it's overstocked and it was you know, on a truck to uh, different stores, then this place can buy that stuff if it's got, you know, damaged boxes or or if it was over stock, like I said, over shipments, whatever. And they buy them and they resell this stuff for really cheap. So I got that warehouse, weird place, 
I got one, two, three, four of these like off-brand uh, remake NES bone controllers. I paid three dollars each for these, brand new. So uh, yeah, they were five ninety-nine, and then they had the on-sale half off. So. I got all of them for three dollars each. That was pretty cool because I got like six Nintendo systems, but like two controllers. So and I got a bunch of new ones. And then at that same place, I got a brand new head strap LED. It's a fancy one. It's Energizer, and I was excited to get that because I can uh, actually see inside my cartridges and whatnot. It's, it's super bright. It's got different modes, but uh, yeah, I'll be able to actually put this on my head, see inside cartridges and game systems and whatnot, and uh, still have both of my hands. Also thought it'd be cool for uh, possible dumpster diving at GameStop if I ever decide to do that. That'll be handy. Super bright. I paid $8 for that brand new, and then at that same weird warehouse place I got a uh, modern edge professional gaming pad and eh, for professional gamers whatever mouse pad not that uh, it's too special but I paid and get it out here it's kind of cool it was the same deal half off I paid three dollars for it regularly six I guess but uh yeah it's a I can get you guys to see it here it's just a really long mouse pad with like a wrist pad there and uh, it's pretty cool so yeah a bunch of weird stuff as far as gaming goes or Croft figures and and LED lights for dumpster diving only I was really excited to get that uh, Mega Man 3, but yeah, I'll uh, talk to you guys later.